Okay, so here's a view of the Vanagon motor. It uses magnets for the stator, screws magnetic field on the stator, brushes that ride on the rotor here, a brush here, see the brush, and here's the bearing. This is the bearing that requires lubrication. Well, it's wise to lubricate at the time. Uh, this collects dust, dust collects in, in around this, and then creates a huge amount of drag. So uh, this is the uh, scroll cage impeller. And on our meter, we'll see how many amps we we'll draw from the battery at low speed. Point six amps, and then at medium speed, four and a half amps, and then at full speed, just under nine amps. Pretty heavy draw. So this is the resistor pack, and between these points is the greatest resistance and therefore the lowest speed, and then between these two points the least, and then this is a direct connection uh, that gives you full power to high speed. There's no bearing visible on this side uh, so there's no easy access uh, but that is the picture point six point seven amps medium speed four point six We saw in this unit 50% uh, more current was being drawn to spin it, so uh, probably a lot of resistance where the bearing should have actually, uh, you know, just dropping some oil on the bearing might have made a big difference. So here's a view of the HVAC ventilation heater box. This is the flap control. Here's a floor vent. And also opening and closing so you can control whether the vent goes to the floor. And roughly this setup, this would be going to the, the defrost. And hot and cold control. So this is the defrost. And the input is here. So this is open to the is open to the exterior. So we have a lot of dirt that collects in here. And we can then Release some of that to the interior by this flap control.
Okay, so this is our power supply. This will show the current that's being delivered by the battery, the voltage of the battery. This is the negative line for the fan motor. And this here would be the, for the fan control where we select the speed. So this would be the low speed. Actually, this is medium speed. Alright, so here's the low speed 3.63 6, amps. And then the medium speed 6.75 amps. And then fast. Just under 10 amps in the high speed. So there's the impeller. And this is spinning at low speed. I didn't want to leave out the heater core, the view of the heater core. This is actually a heat exchanger. You can see the fins on one side. This is where the coolant enters and exits. So it goes through a heat exchanger block that extends the length of this unit. And again, this is the hot air exit. Alright, so this is our power supply. This is the current meter display and the voltage of the battery. So this will give us a, a uh, number of amps that we're drawing from the battery drive the motor. And we'll start at the low speed first. So low speed is about 3.7, 3.6 amps. Medium about 6.6 .6 amps and then high speed 